So Uncle from Another World episode 13 has finally arrived. Now it released in Japan a little bit ago, but similar to how around half of this anime we had to rely on the good old fan subs because Netflix be Netflix and decide to not do things at an appropriate pace. Some subtitles have finally been published online. Yo ho ho, a pirate's life for me, you know what I'm saying. And overall, was this a satisfying final episode for season one, potentially the only season we'll get given the production hell this went through? Overall, I would say yes. Anyone with eyes is going to notice that, yeah, they probably struggled a fair amount in this episode. But like I always say, if a show's going to have production issues, I would much rather it happen with a comedy series, because generally the production dips will just enhance the comedy, and boy did it enhance the comedy. I seriously, the half the time when you look at Mabel in this episode, you swear she's a pug in human elf form mixture into one, her eyes are bulging out of her head in one of the most poorly drawn scenes, and it is hilarious every single time. They leave you off in a way that clearly the story's far from over. After the credits, they give you a little sequel, hook, tease, go read the source material, you know the drill. But overall, there's enough here to kind of feel like a bow was tied, that if this was all I got as an anime watcher, I'm gonna leave and be a very happy camper. Now, if they somehow manage to scrape together a season two, and defy all odds, of course I'll be right there watching. But this was a good final episode that had me laughing and overall resolved a pretty cool conflict in the most uncle from another world fashion they could. Now, I do have a full live reaction to this final episode available on my Patreon, so if you do want to see my full uncut thoughts while watching this episode, head on over there and consider supporting. Because yeah, this was a fun episode. This wasn't by any means the best episode that I can remember. Granted, Uncle's been through so many breaks and delays, yes, some episodes are more fuzzy than others. But I can remember my own enjoyment through peak sections and certain sections, and this wasn't my favorite episode overall. But I left with a grin on my face, I walked in almost immediately smiling, and I had a very fun time, which is all I was really asking for for an episode 13. You had some good comedy, some good resolutions to things, and also, even though Uncle kind of ends this episode saying, yeah, the rest of my life was basically me on a solo adventure, you know damn well Uncle doesn't quite understand what he says half the time isn't actually reality. He doesn't see that he more or less had a harem. He literally gave one of our girls another ring and just, he's a very oblivious. So there's definitely more content within this world. But what I like is that they resolve things in a very good fashion. So one of the things I really appreciate is the whole idea of how he tries to get back to Japan, right? So he's doing everything he can. He'll do spells, he'll attack things, and He'll just try to create a big energy explosion and hopefully make a portal back to his home. So by the end of this fight, he more or less captures lightning in a bottle. He gathers a bunch of this energy, and even though it's a very clumsy, casual, oh, the almost broken and probably unleashed hell upon the world, I like the fact that even though this is probably a red herring and this isn't all there is to it, at the very least for an anime watcher, we can say, okay, even if we never get to see this animated, at the very least, the anime gave us something that we can at least headcanon a solution of how he got back to Japan. So he has this big energy in a bottle, maybe he comes into contact with something else, they collide, probably kills him, throws him back to Japan. There's enough there that you can headcanon something and feel like you can be satisfied not seeing the full package, which is more I can say for a lot of shows. The fight itself wasn't really anything to write home about, and rather than making a really cool action scene pop off visually, we knew they couldn't do that given how they were struggling to produce any episodes within the last stretch of the show. The production committee wasn't going to give them enough time to make a very visually popping fight stand out. So instead, they had dramatic static shots that looked rather good. They had this blue aura around the dragon, so you couldn't tell it was 3D when it was 3D. It was very well produced for the time they had. But the thing that they decided to go with was more comedy direction. Whether it's casually taking girls up and just hoisting them up in the air with chains wrapped around their waist, or just the numerous meme faces. This show just wanted to leave a smile on your face, and there's not many shows that can go on as many breaks as this one did in just a 13 episode run, and have me say the wait was definitely worth it. Like, this is a show that I was still thinking about even long after its last episode. It was, it was weeks after, and I was like, damn, I really hope we get to see episode 13. There's plenty of shows that have suffered production issues that, honestly, I don't come back to a month later. I'm just like, you know what? I've moved on. I watched enough of the show. I don't need to see an extra episode. It's not going to resolve anything anyway. It's based on an ongoing source material. 
So for me, what's the point of finally coming back to a production hell mess, right? No, it's just like you move on to the next anime. But Uncle is one of those shows that I keep coming back to because I love it. I just think it's such peak comedy in the isekai genre, and I had a really fun time. And like I said, the production issues more or less enhanced a lot of the comedy. Sometimes it didn't feel like it was production issues, but then there'd be these shots where you just look at it and you say, yeah, this is clearly like, hey, they had to focus their time and resources as, as limited as it was onto a scene that mattered more than just them talking. So we're just going to say they look goofy because it's funny to look at. And it absolutely was. And I love the fact that it just kind of felt like it hit all the main notes that you kind of expect from Uncle. Over dramatic action, a little bit of softer, kind of like sweeter undertone showing Uncle's a bit more human these days while just having a great time overall. And I don't know if it was the same for everyone, but this was a little unexpected comedy that kind of surprised me. So the video that I ended up downloading, which was the only video published with English subtitles, it actually had the Japanese commercials, so it was a 30 minute runtime, and it initially caught me by surprise, because I'm just watching, I'm like, oh, you know, it's been two minutes, I'm having a grand old time, and then just some Japanese commercials pop up, and I'm like, uncle, what, what are you doing? The person who uploaded this couldn't have just cut out the Japanese commercials? So that was a little unexpected fun comedy for me on top of the actual comedy that was meant to be there because I really wasn't expecting that whatsoever. But it was a fun time, right? This is one of those shows that for as many production issues as it was plagued by, the team behind this did one hell of a job with the limited time and resources that they had. As I've always said with all these delays, we do not blame the team responsible that is behind this, that is crafting and working their butt off, whether they're outsourced members just doing their job or they've been there from the beginning just trying and trying to make this show work. The issue was always with the production committee and the ridiculous time constraints they gave them. And the fact that we actually got episode 13, I gotta admit, I didn't think we would. I thought eventually it might drop in Blu-ray form and it would be an unfinished episode and they would just say it was like an OVA and... You know, there was maybe some key moments that they'd finished, but I was expecting stick drawings. I gotta admit, with how many delays there was, and I've seen shows that you would swear would have a lot better of a finished episode, it didn't. So I was like, Uncle, Uncle's not making it. Uncle's not gonna make it to the finish line, and I'm happy to be proven wrong. Uncle returned, and Uncle returned in very Uncle fashion. If they somehow managed to scrape together a season two, I will watch it. I don't expect a season two, but I would be happy to be proven wrong, and honestly at this point, I think the fandom collectively expects if they announce a season two that let's just say season two comes out in 2024. We all know season two will finish by 2026 at the minimum, let's be honest. But you know what? As much of a production mess as this was, they managed to use missteps to comedy potential. And I leave with a grin on my face still thinking this was one of the funniest Izekai I have ever seen. But those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you thought of the final episode down below. And do you want a season two or would you prefer just leaving it off here and not having the team risk a season two that maybe will never come full circle? Let me know down below. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new around here. Ring that bell so you can get notified when I upload on the channel. And of course, as I mentioned, we do have that full live reaction available on my Patreon. And while you're there, you can also get a video shout out. So today we have Fluid Druid. Sock, Bryce Dezongles, Coconut Gang, and Fang 2. So I appreciate the support, everyone. Please take care and have a good one.